Hi guys, Rich from Art Smart. Welcome back to another YouTube video. We're over in North London today at L Acoustics Creations. The whole story behind our products is we are a pro audio company. We were the company that invented the line array when you go to a gig and you see those big curved hanging speakers. So what we're trying to do with these sound systems is give you the same experience that you would have at a concert. And I'm wearing my special ambient shoes today as well. Is the mate sitting here? Yeah. And then we can change it within the software to say, okay, now I'm in a cathedral, which is what we're in. This for them is throwing a whole new lease of life. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's relearning their craft. There's now a desktop version available for this for Mac, so people can do it, and they do it binaurally with headphones. So they still get that immersive effect using just in, in their headphones. And what that means is they can produce when they're creating in immersive from day one. This product here is called Island Prestige. Mm -hmm. You've got 13 speakers around the front at a 15 degree angle to where your ears are. Yep. You've got five, six and a half inch at the back where, uh, again, that's at a 30 degree angle and two 18 inch subwoofers, which are tuned down to 15 Hertz. So you actually get infralow bass. So you feel it as opposed Ooh, to just hearing. It, yeah. it does rotate a full 360 degrees. So it can be our How spinning it? teacup. Literally. You can put this in a penthouse apartment. If you've got a client that's got a penthouse apartment and they haven't got room for a dedicated cinema room, they love listening to music. You are, you are immersed. You are, you are in it. You're in that cockpit. Yeah, are because you are that close to it. Thanks, <laughs> I'll get the credit card machine out. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Hi guys, Rich from Art Smart. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, this one I'm actually incredibly excited for. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. And we're over in North London today at L Acoustics Creations. Now, join with me today is... Nick Fishter, uh, Director of Sales for L Acoustics Creations. So what he's actually gonna do is he's gonna take us through all the setups I've got here from that entry level right the way through to that, well, I'm gonna wait till you guys see it. So Nick, talk me through, what's his first setup we've got here? Cool, so we're gonna to start today with a system which is called Fiji. So we have dedicated sound systems which are basically pre-packaged. So integrators like yourselves, if you've got a client, it's a finished room or something like that, you can get these pre-packaged systems, they're ready to go. They actually, even though all of our amps are rack mountable, they even come in a wooden enclosure, so it can be freestanding if it's not going into a rack, so it doesn't nice. just look like a pro audio amp. The Fiji system is the smallest system that we have. It, it uses these uh, four inch coaxial point source speakers. These are found on in places like the front row of the Hollywood Bowl in their, their pro live audio application, but you could put them on your desk, you could put them in a bar area, in a house, you could put them wherever you want. They're IP rated, so just, you can use yeah. them indoors or outdoors. This is them in their standard color, which is a dark gray brown, but we can also paint them in any of the RAL classic colors. So you've got a choice of 231 colors. Powered by a single amp, which is called an LA2XI. We've got the SB10i subwoofer as well. The exciting thing about these products is as well is that next year or in 2023, we will be releasing in-wall kits and in-wall ceiling kits for the speakers nice. and also the subwoofer. The whole story behind our products is we are a pro audio company. We were the company that invented the line array when you go to a gig and you see those big curved mm -hmm. hanger speakers. That was our company that pioneered that technology and founded, founded that uh, for the live world. So what we're trying to do with these sound systems is give you the same experience that you would have at a concert. So with each of these systems, we have distances which are done on how big the client's rooms are to say, this is where you'll get this performance. So for 105 dB, one and a half meters, about where we are now. Um, and let's, let's get into it and uh, give you a little bit of a demo and you will see what we are all about. So we'll start with some Skrillex, why not? So just those two that is, not, that is not these, that is just those. to believe that is coming from that because you get the dispersion it's, it's, that, that fills the space yeah. you then get the bass comes and hits you and you feel it yeah 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 absolutely like you do when you walk into a club yeah, and that's yeah. exactly what you can't get that with like traditional hi fi no no like that. Th that that is genuinely I'm not just saying and i'm sure because you've heard this many <laughs> yeah. that is like nothing you have ever heard before i've heard 
so many different systems over the last five years, yeah. and nothing has gone, wow. That in a room, <laughs> forget your big floor standing, to, even that alone yeah, yeah. Puts, puts most things to shame. Yeah. And you can use them outdoors as well, right? Yeah, literally, those in your garden. <laughs> so like that, that brings it back, is literally a concert in your own home. Yeah, literally. and that's our tagline of bringing the concert home, because yeah, yeah. You, you, you get all of that experience and the emotion that yeah. some of the best memories people have in their lives is it gigs and shows, gigs and, shows and stuff like that. It's going to so be a very expensive day for me because we're going to have to put upgrades in. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is. Yeah, I've got that system on my desk at, uh, <laughs> yeah. at home. Actually, well, with the bigger sub. It's available in 2.1 or a 5.1 mm -hmm. system. So, again, if it's like so in the literally media room. You can do media room 5.1 yeah, exactly, in that. Exactly. So, obviously, we, although it's, it's difficult because obviously supply chain, depending on when people watch this video, the custom yep. options, but ballpark for the 2.1, two speakers, amp and sub. 2.1 as it comes, and that includes all the cables as well, everything you need to get it, so all you need is your source into that. You'd be looking around the 9,000 pound mm -hmm. mark for that, excluding VAT. 5.1 version, you're looking between about 15 and 16, but again, depends on. But on, again, on just, just for the performance level you're getting, it's not crazy numbers. No. No, it's the, the, there's nothing really to compare it to either. There's no real. There, there is. No there, real isn't, there isn't. There isn't. There's that. nothing where you can say, "Oh, it sounds a bit similar to this." It sounds for a 2.1 system like no other 2.1 system I've ever heard before. No. Even higher channel count systems yep. don't perform and give you the same wow as that yeah. does. And you know, I've I've worked in this industry for 15 years, 16 this year, but. Um, I'd never experienced anything like it mm -hmm. in my time. And when I came here, and we didn't have these systems then, I went, there is absolutely a place for pro audio in the home. Mm -hmm. Like 100%, there's just a missing mm -hmm. gap that, that's not been looked after. Yeah, and I suppose that is the key difference to highlight between this and anything else that's out there currently in the resi sector. This is pro audio. Correct. So whereas there are lots of hi-fi brands or lots of speaker manufacturers, you know they're making multi-room audio stereo systems. Yep. This is line level audio. This is pro audio yep. that has been you've then developed systems for the home. Yeah. So and the the, the core products are exactly the same, but we have different presets mm -hmm. in the amps which make them more suitable for using them indoors or outdoors mm -hmm. in a residential environment. Yeah, yeah. So like the SPL is actually reduced down. They would be louder mm -hmm. in in a in a pro environment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you want to have the frequency response. You want to go and get those deep bass tones, mm -hmm. which when it's in a concert you don't need that as much. But in the home you do. Absolutely. We, we've done and, and the story of how the, the L Acoustics creation side of the business was mm -hmm. born from L Acoustics is really, really cool because you actually told us it earlier. However, if anyone watching this video, you're going to have to watch the podcast to, to find out that exact yeah. story. Mm -hmm. But it's so It is like, it, and, and I do really say without giving too much away, the best things happen by accident. Yeah, abso no, absolutely. Literally, yeah, the, yeah. the best ideas come from. It not even been, you're not trying to find that idea. No. It just happens naturally. It just happens naturally, and you know the the result of what we're doing and the the projects we're involved with. I mean, it's just you know it's, a, it's an experience which people didn't realise they could have in their home. Absolutely, it's an experience I didn't realise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now let's go on to the next so one. So this is we're turning things up a notch. So yeah, now we're going to Hawaii. So we're going to a much bigger driver in here. So this is yep. now like an eight inch in here and two 12 inch subs. So these are obviously much bigger. These, yeah. yeah, so Just again, they can be used indoors or outdoors. It's all IP rated and again, can be custom colored. When you do order them in a custom color, the grill, everything is in that color as nice. well. We did a project in Ibiza recently where the end client is involved with a fashion brand where everything is a very particular type of blue. We got that, so he's got his system in that blue and it is very, very cool. These are in the live world. These are used as stage monitors. They've actually got an angled back so you can literally have them on the floor. They can be used as studio monitors. They can be used in a resi environment, obviously in stereo setup like you've got here or cinema application. Again, these mm -hmm. are great to put behind an acoustic transparent screen. And we probably want to stand back a bit for these. Because really? we're going up a notch, right? Let's go for some Fred again. On this system, you're looking at around the 15,000 pound mark in the stereo configuration. In a 5.1 configuration, you'll be looking at around 25,000. I'm just waiting for that bass to hit. I'm just waiting yeah. for that bass to hit. But you can instantly hear how much bigger the sound is from that. Atmos panels to that height, you're looking at adding an extra kind of 8,000 on top of that. So, nice. no. and you feel it, right? Like you say, it's just like walking into your face. That is sensational. You can hear probably say this like a lot of times today. You know, we've come from that. We've stepped up to this system. 
Sometimes with systems, when you step up a level, it's marketing. You know, yep. the, the, the step up is essentially the same components in a more expensive box. Yep. That is not the same system. That is good. <laughs> that is incredible. Yep. You know, and we said it then, and I'm just in case they didn't hear, that is literally, you walk into the club, it's like that, I'm going to give it a different analogy, it's when you walk off that plane and the heat hits you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, literally, it's, it's you are walking into a club and bang, that is. Yeah, and, and th that's what we're known for in the live side of the business is, is this isn't a company that was created because we just wanted to be another loudspeaker company, mm. it was because we wanted to reproduce instruments on stage mm. to make them accurate. So when that drummer comes on and hits that drum, mm -hmm. it sounds as if you were just in front of that mm. drum. And again, you know, I'm playing a lot of electronic music now, but if you play on the next system, we'll play something that's a bit more acoustic. And again, you just, it feels like the instrument's in front of you. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah, again, something that you, you can't achieve. Literally, and to clarify, because you'll see these speakers everywhere, these big loud, we are gonna come onto this. This is actually all part of a different system. So that, that I was listening to there was literally just those speakers. Oh, I say we're just these subs. <laughs> these two massive subs we've got down here. These were not part of it. These are part of a completely different system that is in this room, which we are going to come on to. Which we're going to, we're working yep. up to that. We're working up to that. So that one was Hawaii. That's Hawaii. So now we will go to Tahiti. Mm -hmm. So this this column here is a, is a Siva. This comes off. So you've got the connection plate on the bottom there. And that literally literally just goes on like job that. Done. And then it is still, you can still rock it around. We also sell base plates for them as well. Mm -hmm. These are also IP rated, so it could be used outdoors as well. Put that in your garden. You can put that in your garden. People have, people are doing. You've got in here, now this is this is a patented technology which Helacoustics patented a number of years ago, which is how we invented that line array. So this is where you're separating the high frequencies. So this is a bunch of compression drivers, which are essentially separating those high frequencies mm -hmm. and just directing them across the whole surface mm -hmm. cover area. And then this is doing your mid frequencies. This is the same sub that we just listened to over there. Mm -hmm. Because this is line array, it means that your distance now, with that system, if you'd have stood over here, the volume would have been less than where we were standing. Mm -hmm. Whereas with this, you'll discover by walking up and down the room, the volume level stays pretty constant. Again, from back from live audio, and you've got the big, massive line array set up to the front yep, of the exactly. stage. And even if you're 200 meters back, yep. it still uh, And, and the, these were created originally for like fashion shows, art galleries, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You'll see these. So there's the uh, nightclub high in Ibiza, which has been voted top nightclub in the world, mm -hmm. second year running. Either side of the DJ booth, they've got these mm. because up above you've got the big main PA hangs. But if you're stood and you know if you watch mm. any of the boiler room sets or anything like that mm. these days, everyone wants to be on the, the DJ end. basically. That means you've got this covering right down there at that low angle and, and giving everything that while the main PA system. Is that. So uh, and did I see something? Was it with Adele? Yes. A a Talk us through that bit. So yeah, Adele did a special on TV. She did one in the UK mm -hmm. at the Coliseum, but did in the US. That was, was in on, the Coliseum. Uh, I thought it was. I just. But in which which is an acoustics venue, and then in um, uh, sorry, not the Coliseum, the Palladium mm -hmm. in London. Uh, that was it. Um, but in the US, she did a show at the Griffith Observatory. That was the one. That's the that's the one I was thinking. Oh, and was, she had six, six of six yeah, of yeah, these yeah. around. It was a, it was a, you know I think they had two hundred people there, but six of those covering that whole gig. And people would pay a lot of money for product placement for a gig like that. But yeah, literally, we get paid for people to, you, to, to you do get, it. You get it for free because um, you just want the kit. We're very lucky. And again, that story about like for for the, for the end clients of you know they get to. They get to tell their friends they've got the same sound system that Adele used at that show, or whatever it may be. It, it's that and the fact same it heritage. is, and you know, I'd be, I'd be completely honest until I obviously seen you come into the business and start pre mm. promoting the creation side of things. You know, I'm aware of audio, but live audio is not my jam. Yeah, so, same here. So the the Elacoustics logo, because again, Elacoustics is pro, Elacoustics creation is that. Yeah. Ever since you've started posting that logo and the creations brand, see it everywhere. You see it everywhere. Literally any main show, DJ, gig, event. Yeah. It's, it's got the it's other, that it, gold square. It literally that any, square. anything yeah. that is a premium, premium show yeah. always has it. And the creation side of business, literally, as you say, the tagline is, you know, bring, bring it the home, concert home. Bring yeah. the concert home. And, and it is that. This is a very popular system in residential environments because it can be freestanding. It looks quite elegant, it looks quite cool. Again, when you do funky colors, like I said, the blue ones that we did look really, really yeah, yeah. cool. You know, again, putting them outside, perfect for that. And you get equal coverage over the garden without having to do anything. 
putting spikes in the ground and stuff like that. So yeah. it's, you know, it's Anyway, Nick, love the story, let's crank it on. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we want to go Tahiti. Let's do something now. As I say, we're going to do a bit different now and just show something which is more instrumental based mm -hmm. as opposed to... Um, Instantly has filled this room. Yeah. Instantly. That's very good. And it is, no matter where you stood in this, that was literally, you turn that on and even then first you... Uh, and that's why I showed that space. track, because it's that's lots of different instruments. It's not electronic to show something. It's not, because obviously electronic, you thumps and bumps, and yeah, you can yeah, see that. You'll that get the same thumb from that system, ding. but that, it shows the full breadth of, of, of how it goes. Um, and yeah, again, we now go to something with vocals on it. Again, vocals are incredibly clear on that, and you'll hear bits of the track that you've never heard before. Is literally, if you was a gig, no. fair yep. it's Hummel's vocal sound. Yep. Uh, I, I saw Billie Eilish at the O2 in the summer. It was an acoustic system, sat right under the PA hangs, and you feel it, and you get that same experience. It's just like being in a show. Yeah. So when Nick surprises and he brings Billy out from the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that low end grunt that you get, yeah, yeah. There's, just, there's not much you can get that with. No, no. For me, the, the sound coming from it, yes, the sound's incredible. I think the best word I would use to describe these systems is authentic. Yeah. That's, you know, because it, 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 that is just like being at a show. Yep. Like, I'm not even talking about how loud it is. I'm, even at just, low just volume how levels. Re, how, yeah, how, it, how the sound is reproduced is just like being at a show. Yeah. So, for this kind of setup, for this one here. Yep, where, so you're looking at around 25,000. At yeah. this, and this in pounds, yeah. But again, you could produce. I mean, look at the, the space we're in yeah. to produce something similar with yeah, multiple I mean, sets I mean, of speakers. The, the, and again, the, you just wouldn't produce something. That's the thing. No, you could throw twenty-five grand at a different solution. It still wouldn't be that. No. that that's the main difference. No, that is again. That includes your cables, your ramps, everything you need to literally area. just plug and play. So when you start using just like the individual components of it, it becomes less because it hasn't got those because you'll be supplying the cables. You know, mm. you, because you're putting them in the walls and all mm. the rest of it. So it, it becomes, yeah, this, yeah these, all the different complete elements. Complete ballparks, yeah. but yeah. So that's Very, Tahiti. Mm -hmm. That's Tahiti. And then we go to Tonga. We're going to go to Tonga. Now this, this is, so what you can see around us here, all the speakers that we've been seeing. No, the, so we're not no. using oh, all the speakers. Oh, not so yet. So you'll notice not now the blue oh, lights have changed. I'm jumping the gun. I'm You're just jumping getting, the gun. There we go. So now we're going to be listening to the two which have got the blue lights on them. Uh, uh, which explains the lights. Which explains, explains the, the lights. lights. Uh, and I promise I didn't even make the Mark Smart blue before you came. There there, are, that blue. Uh, so now we're listening to Siva. So exactly the same components that we were listening to over there. But now we add a Siva low into the mix. Yeah. So a Siva low is two 12 inch drivers mm -hmm. in it. So that's doing the mid to low frequencies. And then you've got, so each Siva, so there's two Siva, two Siva low, mm -hmm. and then four Siva subs. Sorry, so sorry, instead of having sorry. just two, subs you're going four, four plus you've got the lows giving you that low end extension as well and I, th and I think this is important to mention with this space right this down here looks like it's a bookcase <laughs> right, it looks like it's a, it's a low level unit they are subs right the way around this room and although we've just got two of these on for now with this one yep we've just got two of these cabinets on once so we... two two sievers yep. two sieva lows four sieva subs within this orientation it basically goes sub on each side of yeah, the yeah. side of it but yeah when we go up to the ocean we've got to the ocean which is this full room this full room <laughs> Go with some hip hop on this one because this is uh, gives you some fun within this system. 
Astro. No. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can go that mental freeze. These people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Hey, what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You can go that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. She said that I'm cool. I'm like, yeah, that's true. You can feel that. You really, really can feel those bass notes being thrown about the room. And Matt, even, even when we set it up, Nick showed me the iPad and he was like, look, it's not even at 50%. Actually, if I could tease it up a bit, we set it up to about 80. It had more. Yeah. You wouldn't ever need more. I can see why you've been trying to get me down here for two years. <laughs> this is, that is, but the, and I, I, I think the main thing is, and you must have this literally conversation weekly with integrators, once somebody's heard this, that's it. And even like what I said to you before, like we've obviously got like a special client, special job. And he was like, listen, I want Donnie to sound like a nightclub. Yeah. Like, and then he's got a, a lounge upstairs where he wants to, like a, a little set. That would tackle his lounge upstairs perfectly without being too in your face. Yeah. yeah. That keep the wife happy. Yep. And then that downstairs in like, oh, I, I think he'd even go for that downstairs in like that. And we've got people that put these in like media rooms. Like we've just done a project recently where they've got three of them with three C below, four C subs. Find a golf simulator screen. Yeah, yeah. Because they hit golf balls during the day and then at night they bring the screen down and watch streams from Tomorrowland and stuff like that. And then they've got an even bigger system at the other end of the room uh, for, from our pro audio side just for going nuts. And this is this is the thing. If the That's what it is. If somebody if somebody is really into the music, like really into the music, wants something immense, you know, or they just want an immense sound, you know, they, I, I've said it a lot today. <laughs> I'm gonna probably say it a lot more again today before we leave, because it is not like anything you've had before. It no. is it is literally, it, it's the first time I've had a demo for years and actually smile. Mm. You know, because a lot of time you have a demo, you're like, sounds like the 50 other thousand speakers I've yep. listened to in the last couple of years. That's the first time I've listened to a speaker and gone, wow. And, that, and, it, and that's why that's, I joined this company, because I went, uh, uh -huh. you know, kind of eye opener moment of this, this is what people need to understand. and. Okay, you've heard the pricing of the systems. Mm -hmm. How much do you think that is? I'm going to ask you how much you think that how is. How much is this one? So we said this was 25. Yeah. I'm going to say it was... For how that blew me... Literally, you should come to that <laughs> one. I'm going to say that's probably sat 60. Around about 40. Around about 40. So even going from that 25, an extra 15 grand, you get all the extra bit. And it really is. That is like... That's It's awesome. great. It fills a room. We literally have a client who said, I want the bass to blow me away. <laughs> Come and stand here, my friend. Yeah. Come and stand and here. These are like the smaller literally subs would... we do as well, because like, mm -hmm. obviously we do big subs. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, because on the pro side of people, on of the business, people go, oh, the Siva sub, you don't get enough low end extension from it. It's not loud enough. It's not this. I, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty impressive. That is, that, no, that's beyond impressive. That was literally, I'm going to have to turn back on this. So even this way, it's sat mellow. Yeah, you know, very different type of music. Completely different. It's but obviously... It's, it's still just all about kind of hearing that detail and stuff. You know, on that, you can hear the actual keys of the piano being pressed down. You, you, wouldn't, you can't get that with the next one. Yeah, even those lower notes are just sympathetic. You know, it's not sounding too harsh because no. the the big grunty speakers. Yeah. It, it's this is it, the, and this is showing that kind of polar opposite from like yes, it can do big aggressive hip hop, it can do dance, mm -hmm. it can do everything, but also when these are used on the pro side, it's quite often just with like a small you know jazz quartet or something like that, mm -hmm. where it is music like this. And it's, Like, I've done that that often it before I get too much. So <laughs> I don't want to make you You feel, cry. feel it, don't you? You do. Wow. Goosebumps guaranteed. No, literally, literally, literally. So as we've been demoing the systems in this room, 
obviously this was the first demo, but then we had the bigger speakers next to it. This room, and you'll sit next to all the demos, but let me just walk around this room. They are here. We have subs all down at low level. These speakers continue right the way around the room, all the way around the room. Literally this full room is filled with our speakers. Nick, what yep. channel count have we got in here? So this is an 18.1.12 setup. 18 of the Seavers in the 18 round. 18 Seavers. The point one, point one is made up of 12 Seaver lows and 12 Seaver subs. So actually it's 24 low frequency enclosures for the whole room. Mm -hmm. So you could say it's 18.24, but it's yeah, yeah. It's, there's only one, one LFE yeah, yeah. channel. And then we have 12 height channels in the ceiling as well, which you That'll guys be, can't see yeah. because we've got stretch fabric ceiling here. The walls are stretch fabric mm -hmm. as well. And all of those speakers are hidden in the ceiling. So this room plays back our own proprietary immersive audio format, which mm -hmm. we've taken from the live world. It can also play back Atmos, it can play back DTSX, it can play back IMAX, it can play back stereo, it can play back whatever you want. And we'll we'll talk about some of the technology that this can do as well, because... They will talk through the technology, and then we'll also talk about what's through that door as well. Yeah. Because that is the thing, like these speakers impressed me, but the story behind the creation the, side the of the business. The heritage and where it's come from. How yeah. it developed, what is at the other side of that room? I mentioned it three times already. <laughs> so what is at the other side of that room? It's seriously impressive, but when you see that paired with this, Paired with the business and the brand story, it all puts everything together. And you Ties go, together. Yeah, do you know what? You deserve your seat at the table. <laughs> Completely. Compl you're in, sorry, sorry. You don't deserve a seat at the table. You're on your own table. You're on your own table. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, we, we try and be different. One of the technologies that, that this room can do, everything that we've been listening to, this, as you guys will have noticed, the guys on, that are watching this back won't be able to, but... It's quite a dry room, mm -hmm. right? It's being treated so that these systems sound as good as they can be. Mm -hmm. You might have a client that has a big open plan space mm -hmm. in their house and they want to listen to music like we have been doing and have parties and stuff like that. But yet they might have a piano in the room and they want to play piano in the corner just quietly. But actually if you play a piano in a dead room, mm -hmm. it doesn't sound very good because it will literally just keep that audio yeah. localized over there. So what we have is a new technology called Ambience which allows us to change the acoustics of this room. And I'm wearing my special ambient shoes today as well. Is the mic sitting there? Yes. Yeah. So it's then... So there are eight microphones across this ceiling. Which then makes the room lively. Which is fed back into our processor and we can, within our software, choose <laughs> how big or small the room is. So the room has to have the right reverberation time to start with, which this room has because it's been treated. Uh -huh. And then we can change it within the software to say, okay, now I'm in a cathedral, which is what we're in. <laughs> and we're it. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's being fed back through the speakers, but you can stand next to a speaker and you, there's no delay. There's no, there's no, it, it's just yeah, as it if you were sound, there. It sounds as if. And you still sound as if your voice is coming from there because yeah. it's not coming out of those speakers. It's, it's localized. You, That's, that's literally like you. Hello! <laughs> is this the new technology? So, so this is new technology. We, we released this in May. So we, we, we you know, this, this is available now. Um, you can change the room. So I can change it now to, this sure. is called a glass room. So again, it's, it now sounds like we're in a bathroom. So if I show you on this here, on their interface, we've got, the presets here to literally change how the room is. So if I wanted the room to be dry, I mean, literally straight away. And, and that's what we were, well, that's what we were in the whole time. Literally. And it wouldn't have felt that dry when you came in here I originally. I would be really interested. Well, we're going to hear obviously the big system, but even to hear us, we wouldn't get on that, but on something like that. Yeah, I mean, and, and we quite often do that when a client kind of comes in and says, oh, I've got Realistic. really bad acoustics in my room. You just hear that. Hey, up. <laughs> Cathedral. And that is lit. Cathedral is, and it, it's it, echoing to the rooftops. And, and it plays tricks with your mind because yeah. your brain can't process it because it thinks that you should be in a much bigger room than you're in. And on the live side of our business, this is we're putting this in recording studios because bands can now rehearse and hear what it will sound like in the spaces they're in. But in a residential environment, it has space as well because, as I said, we were talking to one end user and he's building this 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 dining room which is, can seat 45 people in it. 
He wants to stand up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and he, you know, he'd want to stand up at the end of the meal and thank everyone for coming. But he doesn't want to have to hold a mic or have a lapel mic on mm. and have an AV guy there doing things. He can literally just get the iPad out, change the setting and go, yeah. And people can hear him. But yeah, you've been in rooms and stuff like that when you go to a conference and there's that noise of people. Mm -hmm. If we had 20 people in this room all talking with this turn on there, it would be horrible. Mm -hmm. But that's where you can change it to just to be able to straight away. So now we're talking. Yeah, it sounds like we're in a cathedral, but we want it on to drive. And, and it's, it's funny because you have to change then. All, all yeah, like, yeah. Oh, why am I You're shouting? I don't need voice, to shout yeah. anymore. I wasn't expecting that to impress me as much as it did. <laughs> I wasn't even ready for it. No, I wasn't exactly. ready for it. That, so I've, again, it just proves where you're at as a business with the development and you know what you understand about audio and just what you understand about audio in general yep. to be able to reproduce something like that or even create something like that and it's actually be a thing you know there's there's a lot of talk about spatial audio and immersive know, audio i was just gonna that is one of the industry buzzwords i hate immersive audio yeah because what's thrown does it around mean? too loosely what does it, it mean is, it is thrown around too loosely though yeah. you know people are putting in like I don't know, a couple so, of so, so, 5.1 systems, this immersive cinema room. It's yeah. never seen immersive. Yeah. It's never been immersive. No. Whereas this is the first time somebody said the word immersive and I've actually felt immersed. Yeah, and, and, and that's what this is about as well. And we have a new technology which will be coming out later this year, beginning of next year, which allows you to take stereo audio and move it around the room as well. Mm -hmm. So that it's constantly moving. We're working with DJ providers like That's Pioneer. one of the coolest thing. Come over here, come over here. This kind of shows you where these are. These guys are at, you know, they have the full Pioneer set up. And then DJ's producers can come here and they can see how the technology will work within this environment so they can then take it out on tours and stuff like that. As you'll learn by the end of today, mm -hmm. stereo is boring. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. It, it, it's funny because I'll, I'll, I'll be here for a day and I'll jump in the car afterwards and drive home and listen to like the same track. I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you can use the system for that. You can also use it for our own proprietary audio. So if you are the ultimate avid music lover, we can get access to the stems of your favorite artist and we can mix it for you in this immersive format. Now this room, if I gave you this room and said, right, Rich, can you design this as a cinema room? You're gonna go, Yep, cool. That's going to be our front wall down there. We're going to do le left, center, right. We're going to do surround and we'll do tiered seats in this way. We don't think about it in this way. We think about it in this is our front here. And we have more than a left, center, right, because what we're doing is we're recreating the stage. Mm -hmm. So within our software, you can literally map anything and you can drag any instrument, any vocal and move it around within the space. Mm -hmm. So the first track I'm going to play you. Um, in 18.1.6. 18.1.12. 18.1.12. Don't forget six of them. I will play you something which is from the Hollywood Bowl. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the LA Philharmonic Orchestra. So mm -hmm. it's classical. Um, and it is, you are going to be stood in the conductor's position. And with classical music, why this is relevant and why we demo it with classical music is with classical music on a stage, you have lots of different mm -hmm. instruments. Yeah, yeah. And if it's just a stereo system, you get no localization of where all of that's coming from. Whereas with this, you will hear completely that it is as if you're in front of that stage with no PA system. It is as real as it can come. He's, he's, he's just been sat in front of a sat in front of it. So that's it from a, a classical point of view. I'm going to play a track now from Bonnie Vere, uh, who are currently touring Europe at the mm -hmm. moment. Uh, they're playing Wembley tomorrow night, and they're using this immersive audio technology at that concert because they want to be able to engage more people within the audience. The bigger and bigger gigs get, the further and further away mm -hmm. the audience gets, which means you as an audience goer end up watching the screen and not the people on, mm -hmm. on, on stage because you're, you're, that's where the sound's coming from because it's usually just a left and right hang. And with this, you will get complete surround immersion. So with this, again, it shows a different music genre, but just of taking you into it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Like, just like being at a gig. Yeah. It's what we call hyper real sound because it's more realistic it's than if literally. you were there. I suppose for me, after today, the main thing about acoustics and acoustics creation is just because you understand the craft so deeply, I think that's the main difference between most speaker manufacturers creating speakers. And because you do the live audio and it's then resonating down into a home, but then tweaking things so it sounds correct in the home, yep. and it, it's just a true, true, true understanding of it. That's, yeah, that's the main thing. It, it's it's a, a real Christian who's our, our founder. He didn't come from an audio background. Mm -hmm. He has a PhD in particle physics. That was his background. But he loved music so much, mm -hmm. he wanted to make it a better experience for people mm -hmm. and, and started in the live world in, in doing that. And then now his, his whole focus at the moment is bringing this into the residential environment Literally, because well. it's a com completely different yeah. sector. You can use this for an art form. People are buying digital art, NFTs and stuff mm -hmm. like that, uh, which is a whole new world. Why not have audio as art as well? Mm -hmm. So you could actually have just kind of like background music for wellness and well-being, which is obviously a big thing, where it just transports you to a different space, but everything is moving around constantly. Nothing ever sits static. Those two pieces that we listen to, everything was static because on the stage in real life, yeah, yeah, it's, gonna be static. it's static. If it's not whizzing around in real life, mm -hmm. Don't make it whiz around, but with this, it's it's moving because you want to feel more of it. And that's where the DJ producers get to have fun mm -hmm. because now with electronic music, you can I basically, basically this is, this is, this have is my a blank right canvas now. literally of the this could be your nightclub. Mm -hmm. And how do you want it to sound in your nightclub? You basically can have your audience in the middle of it with your speakers in the round around the mm -hmm. audience and everyone dancing in the middle. And you'll experience with this, now this does have the whizzy bangy stuff, mm -hmm. and there is no real right place to stand in the room for this track because it's it's everywhere, it's all around us. So as you can hear, it's coming from over it's there, there now, yeah, yeah. and then it will move around. So different. <laughs> you knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. That, I suppose, as well, like you see, obviously, you've got the relationship you've got with Pioneer, which is obviously, if any DJ, the Pioneers yep. just know, you've got the DJ set up in here. And, and again, we are going to come into that. I'm teasing it a lot. You literally will get DJs come here, mix their tracks. Yep. Shall we just show them? Yep. Let's Shall go. we show them? Please brace yourselves for what we've got down here. We do have one final piece when we come back. But beyond this door is... This for them is throwing a whole new lease of life. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's relearning their craft. There's now a desktop version available for this for Mac, so people can do it, and they do it binaurally with headphones. Mm -hmm. So they still get that immersive effect mm -hmm. using it just in, in their headphones. And what that means is they can produce when they're creating in immersive from day one. What do we have going on in here? So this is our Elisa studio. Elisa is the technology which makes all of that mm -hmm. possible, stands for L Acoustics Immersive Sound Art. Within here, we have uh, mixing consoles from different manufacturers. So we've got uh, an Avid desk here, we've got a Digico here. We're compatible with all the major players with that. What you'll see here on this screen here is what the actual Elisa layout looks mm -hmm. like. Each feed into the console mm -hmm. or each stem from a pre-recorded track um, can be used and it can have a number attached to it. Mm -hmm. And then you can literally take that and move it around, depth, forwards, backwards, around the room, however you Literally, want to do and it. I suppose as well for DJs, producers, musicians, artists that have 
I've done this for, for many years. You know, they've just been doing the standard gigs, the shows. Yeah. You know, I'm not to the point where they're bored of it, but this for them is throwing a whole new lease of life. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's relearning their craft. Yep. But but just do it like you're saying. There is a completely immersive experience, and it's different. It's just so different. It's different, and what we've seen is that. If we, if we look at the Atmos kind of music collections that exist out there today on Tidal, Apple Music, a lot of it is old stuff that's been remastered mm -hmm. in, in, in Immersive. What this tool now, there's now a desktop version available for this for Mac, so people mm -hmm. can do it, and they do it binaurally with headphones. Mm -hmm. So they still get that immersive effect mm -hmm. using it just in, in their headphones. So they can produce on the go, and what that means is they can produce when they're creating in Immersive from day one. You can export this in Elisa, you can export it in Dolby Atmos as well. So Jean-Michel Jarre, uh, just launched his album this weekend, uh, Oxymore, which is a new album that was all produced in our release of technology and then scaled down for stereo for those that just want to listen to it in stereo and then exported for Atmos as well so that anyone can listen to it. In Why would you ever want to listen to anything in stereo again after going in there? <laughs> That's the point, right? Yeah. So yeah, um, the, the, this, this layout here mm -hmm. is, is in the same kind of layout that we have next door. Mm -hmm. So you've got 18. He said, yeah, literally every speaker's 15, 15 degrees. degree angles to your ears. You've got the height channels above you as well. You like a big subwoofer, so uh, this shows you here. This is one of our older models, but that's dual 18s in there. And that's the kind of product you'd see from us in a normal line array situation. Yeah. So then over here as well. Yep. So we've got the kit here. Now this is where he's actually powering that room that we've just been in. So we have our traditional um, sources for mm -hmm. obviously playing through that system. So we've got our you know, Sony Blu-ray player here. We've got a Kaleidoscape, so you can play movie mm -hmm. content through there. We use Blue Sound as our stereo audio source. Mm -hmm. We have a Trinov Altitude 32, which mm -hmm. is uh, not actually, so all of that content you've listened to, none of that was actually being played through this. It was all being played through our processor. But if you want to listen to normal stereo or Atmos, we work with the guys at Trinov. It can be, you know, it can be Storm Audio as well. Those are the guys we work with that. Obviously, if it's a smaller setup, you can use a smaller processor. Within this space, we have some, some other products which are powering that room. So this top 3U box here is the Elisa processor. So that's the device which is, you know, essentially doing all of the immersive audio. This is the Elisa player, so that's where all of that content is stored mm -hmm. on and it's encrypted and safe for the customer so they can't have it ripped off. This is a third party device which converts the analog audio from the Trinovs into digital audio. These are the amplifiers you can see here with Ocean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Those are powering that room, all of the subs, all mm -hmm. of the lows, all the receivers. That bottom one is, is, is powering the Tahiti system we heard. Mm -hmm. And then actually we've got brand new products which we've just released this year, which we all know how important rack space is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So each one of these is four channels, but obviously takes up a lot of space. These two here at the bottom are brand new and they're 16 channel power amps. Nice. And they are 1,300 watts per channel. We will in time be replacing all of these for, for two of those. Yeah, no, absolutely. Which means you save so much rack space. And again, I suppose that's been born from L acoustics, yep. pro audio stages, doesn't matter, behind stage cover as many racks as yep, you exactly. want. And then filtering it down into the residential markets like guys. Yep. We don't have this space. Yep. We don't have this space. We yeah, need to exactly. go. And, and again, they developed, reinvented new products, created yep. that, and got more power in less space. By the end of this year, we will have over 700 employees. 25% mm -hmm. of those work in research and development. All working on this immersive audio technology. There's more for people. Yeah, it's it's. And they've it's got this incredible, beautiful space here. It's incredible space where they can come up with an idea, test bed it in here, and, and yeah, and, exactly. So we have artists come in here that if they're doing a gig, they can kind of do a pre-production in this room, play it back in there at concert levels of performance. And that, and that was the thing before, like you said to me, that was made me go like kind of wow, you know, literally, artists are coming here, mixing their tracks, going through there, listening back to how that's going to sound in a live production, in an yep. event, in a space, even using your technology, put it into a concert hall, into yep. a cathedral. And then they're testing how that is going to sound. They're not happy with. Come back in here, bit tweak, listen back to it again. And they're actually, again, it's like I said before, it's refining their art. Yeah. You know, the, the and and I think it pays testament to the fact that now their labels are now using that space as to play back the album and launch it in Atmos. Bicep launched their album here mm -hmm. in Atmos with Amazon Music. Uh, Jean-Michel Jarre launched his Porcupine Tree. Various other artists are now using this space to be able to play back their albums for the first mm -hmm. time. Sometimes it's to the general public, but more often than not, it is kind of their nearest and dearest mm -hmm. um, and management and stuff like that. But that's showing that they're choosing this space to do it because of how good it sounds. Well, we have one more product to look at today. We do. There is one more. So, 
Nick, this is this has obviously been when we've looked to been doing all the other demos. This has been very obviously here. Talk me through what we've got going on on here. So this product here is called Island Prestige. Mm -hmm. This is a single piece of furniture, which is is built by us by in hand in our factory in France. You have got exactly the same speaker layout mm -hmm. in terms of where the positions of the speakers. It's different loudspeakers inside of them. The same speaker layout as you had in this whole ocean room, which we mm -hmm. just listened to. So you've got 13 speakers around the front at a 15 degree angle to where your ears are. Yeah. You've got five, six and a half inch at the back where, again, that's at a 30 degree angle and two 18 inch subwoofers, which are tuned down to 15 Hertz. So you actually get infralow bass. So you feel it as you opposed to just it, hearing. Yeah. This is it in its prestige format. We do a version called Raw as well, where essentially it comes with just blank MDF panels here and no fabrics on the top, no cushions or anything. Mm -hmm. So the interior designer can make it truly bespoke to them. Could be carbon fiber with leather, Whatever you uh, want. Whatever yeah, you yeah. want. It can, it can be truly bespoke. So again, it can play back our own immersive audio format. Mm -hmm. The difference though with this product, everything I chose to play through on this system was played, uh, I was using it on an iPad. This product has something on it called a bubble deck. So the bubble deck is here on the back. And then we have what I'm sure you've noticed mm -hmm. on the back, but we haven't spoken about yet, is a series of bubbles. Mm -hmm. So I can take a bubble and I can place that on the bubble deck. And then I have my Bluetooth volume controller here that I take off. Yeah. And I have transport controls on the front as well. And please take a seat. So we've now got the immersive audio coming around us in all the seats. Of course, we don't want to face here though, so. Turn us round. And yeah, there's your volume control. So that is uh, Elisa. So ev everything is coming through from this unit. It's not using any of the other speakers. It's literally all content. We have got height channels in, in the ceiling above us as well um, because obviously this is great for listening to music and we can listen to obviously anything that's in the bubble collection uh, that we sell, but also you can use the Trinov audio processor that we've got is also connected to this as well. So we can listen to, uh, you know, anything from Apple TV, from the Kaleidoscope movie server, from any tracks on Spotify or Tidal, anything you want. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea of this product really is that you can put this in any room in the house. Obviously, it needs to be big enough. It's yeah, four yeah. meters wide and it does rotate a full 360 degrees. You've got two uh, racks essentially mm -hmm. on board with this. So yeah, the so amps are in the box, back yeah. one uh, and then you've got the player and the processor in the front section, which is behind us here. Uh, it's kind of like being in, the back, in, in, a, in a sports car really with the engine behind you. Yeah. Same, same principle. And yeah, it just means that you can control it via your control system. There are buttons so on the unit as well. Yeah. Um, nice big glazed space. You know, you've got sunrise over there, sunset over there, it, it, and you want to sit and enjoy it in both spaces. It, it, ex exactly right. You know, so now all of a sudden we're now facing, you know, over here. And mm -hmm. as you said, sunrise, sunset, why not tie it in with the astronomical clock on, mm -hmm. on your control system and have it move automatically where you're not doing it? Give yeah. the dog a bit of a shot, but you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everything is self contained. And the idea being is, you know, you can put this in a penthouse apartment. If you've got a client that's got a penthouse apartment and they haven't got room for a dedicated cinema room, they love listening to music, they could have uh, this product sit there. It can turn around, mm -hmm. you know, you're facing your skyline. Then when you want to watch a movie, mm -hmm. well, that's really easy because touch one button. And then, of course, you can have your screen drop down from the ceiling. Uh, you could have one rise from the floor, however you want to have it. And then you're transported essentially into your cinema room without having to, to go anywhere else from it. All the lights fade off, shades will close. Now everybody who watched this video will know I've watched that once or twice. <laughs> Those, because again, it's just such a great demo because it has such a great range. That's why I go for it day in, day out. But that, I thought Hugh Jackman was going to throw me off this. Everything is self contained. So, you know, you don't need to worry about acoustic treatment in the room. You don't need to worry about anything. We build this. So it comes in, it's, when it's delivered, it's built in multiple, it's shipped in multiple different crates. Yeah, yeah. So that they're of a size so that they can fit in an elevator or anything like that. Mm -hmm. 
Your client can put this in their home. They move in three years' time. They take it with them. Mm -hmm. You build a dedicated cinema room. That's in there. You're leaving it. It's Literally, done. It's, it's done. This, this is a, a product that's not portable, but you know, yeah, no, 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 no by no means. The idea but of, 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 of what you're doing is it's completely self-contained, so you can you can yeah, you don't need to worry about anything else. In the room. I know what happens to everyone else if I don't. Charge turn is ready for takeoff. Everyone. Go for takeoff. Starting with engine. Engine. Go. Thermals. Go. Fuel. Go. Electric. Go. Control surfaces. Go. Star star. Control. You're clear for takeoff. Last three out. One last flight. Wow. <laughs> Maverick. You think you're in the cockpit. And again, it's that term that's thrown loosely about in the industry per se, but it's the whole immersive. Yeah. That, that you are, you are immersed. You are, you are in it. You're in that cockpit. You yeah, are because you are it. that close to everything. And yeah. Even, and the reason we have the screen, the size of it is, mm -hmm. is so, you know, it's mm -hmm. that big because if it was smaller, you wouldn't be as immersed. The sound is so mm -hmm. big, you need the, the, the picture to be yeah. that big to go with it. Now, as you just sat in a movie, so obviously this is doing volume control, now, as you sat in the movie, if there's a bit that you're really enjoying, literally crank it up and that's the volume. Literally, you've just got that. If there's a bit there and you're like, oh, I'm really, really, really into this, I'll just yep. sat there, you crank it up. You've yep. just got it just there. So tactile. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, so simple. It's just... It's, it's just, like in the car, right? It's the same kind of thing. Literally. Just it, change it Range Rover gears. Yeah, exactly. It's inductive charging. You put it put it on so it recharges it. It communicates yeah. to everything. Even if you passed me that at first, I was like... Meh. But then, when I was literally, just, it'd be a little demo even there, you want to just talk. Yeah. Just everything, it's just, yeah. Yeah, I am sold. I am sold. <laughs> you know, I'll get the credit card machine out. <laughs> literally. <laughs> so I think we've been talking about it as we go. If one of these, in your own home, obviously let's take the other, other, yep, other elements the, out of it. Take the video out of it, yep. it's, it's, it's added onto it again. So, for the audio setup on here, we've got a so processor. So Island Prestige, control. as you see it here today, with this fabric, the, yeah, this finish, finish. Uh, you'd be looking in the region of between 450,000 and 500,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Which where I had it, I said before I said it today, to the boys, I said it's half a million piece of kit. Yep. Um, uh, and then, but you know, in terms of other elements, there's not actually a huge amount that you need to add to it either. You've got your, your display. Should you wish to have it as visual? You know, it's, yeah, it's exactly. You have it, it, was, it was created first and foremost for audio only, but almost felt like a bit of a waste when you can add something like to that. That, that there, <laughs> that there, and again, I mean, you've obviously seen the trend in warm cinemas from going from just dedicated to, to kind of the daybed kind of yep. arrangement. At least just text daybed to, to yep. the next. And the, the, there's usually two spare cushions, there's two, two cushions that go on the side as well, so you mm -hmm. can fit more people on it as well. Yeah, how to work when you're in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so obviously the systems and everything we've seen today are absolutely incredible. Uh, we're going to go upstairs now. I'm actually going to film a podcast and discuss some of this stuff in a little bit more detail. But Nick, thank you very much for giving me a chance to Thank you for coming. Showing down. us around stuff and yeah, absolutely blown away. I look forward to bringing many clients here. And we've already been discussing today actually putting <laughs> demo in uh, into our new office. So yeah, again, thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.